जय शिल प्रभुपाद हरे कृष्ण नाम प्रभु की जय वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप यू आर ऑल एंजॉइंग द न्यू वे ऑफ चैंटिंग और द राइट वे ऑफ चैंटिंग एंड हियरिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ सेपरेटिंग दम यू हैव टू चैंट come here you have to chant and know that very chant so this way you will find a very uh, pleasant energy in your heart and mind which will want you to do bead after bead bead after bead and this pleasant taste is nothing but the taste of devotion service it is given by the nama prabhu to the chanter and that has the power to change old habits even over overnight now you understand why somebody has a question how can it change overnight it can change overnight because you are being free from the offense of inattentive chanting and the lord is very pleased immediately you get the taste of devotion service it's something that they actually in the depth of their heart the living entity wants to relish that taste of serving the lord so therefore i say this is a taste of divine doing divine knowing and divine tasking i'll show one uh, <clears throat> one uh, graphic rain there is a what what happens when you do chanting come hearing you can see this way of chanting is completely different from the other kind of chanting where you are continuously trying to drag the knowing attention from thinking and again it goes off there and again you bring it so there's so much of self control required and this kind of self control is very very tiring for the mind and that is why we feel sleepy because we don't do concurrent chanting come hearing that is why we feel sleepy so now you see this uh picture that i have made the lord's mercy is descending nama avatara's mercy is descending like rain rain of mercy isolated chanting and isolated hearing is like keeping the your vessel upside down you cannot collect the water so you won't feel that energy at all you don't feel that pleasantness at all concurrent chanting come hearing is like keeping the vessel up you know right side up and it gives us that that empowerment that that satisfaction of having attentively chanted and offered the service to the lord go to the next slide make it bigger please yes just see here now you have the head bead on the left side you start with bead 1 micro chesta that means for one bead there is a small effort being put for chanting and linked hearing that means you have to put doing effort for chanting and knowing effort for hearing that same chant chesta is required then in between is a tasking chesta what is task tasking chesta i think earlier if you have read my earlier modules i already described that it is 
where we have a goal of finishing 108 so tasking means just like chanting on each bead is a is an unit task it's a unit of activity or you can call it a unit action and many such unit actions put together is called activity bead 1 to bead 108 is an activity so connecting each act action to next action and continuing it that is called tasking to reach the goal so tasking always has a target so between the two beats you have to take that tasking um, effort to go to the next beat these are all small things that we need to learn how to observe in our heart once we observe you are done means you have to observe this chesta is actually a soul a soul's effort. It's a soul soul. Uh, it's a soul offering of chesta, which is different from doing effort. Knowing effort is different. Doing effort is different. Just think about it. Everything I cannot explain. You read the modules. Think about it and capture that idea of no, doing effort and knowing effort. Doing effort automatically releases doing attention on what you are doing and knowing effort releases knowing attention on what you are doing. So in this way, bead after bead, bead after bead you go and this is a sequence of training for the mind that you have to uh, chant and hear in a linked manner. So just I will just see some for the encouragement for everybody this training uh, one of the responses I got this training module 35th is really wonderful I started following it four days back and result is surreal I always always used to get fatigued and sleepy during Japa and I am amazed it is not happening anymore the task is to concurrently chant and hear now if it does not happen there is immediately a slight signal that attention is missing and need to be brought back. Slowly a guilt is setting in if a bead mantra is unheard. Previously it was all a guilt-free mindless experience. After 12th round I do feel little struggle again but I am trying to practice it. Yes, you have just begun. So old habits just, you know, if, if 12th round you got off means the old habit took over. That is why Changing the habit requires considerable time. There is a reason why I have given 12, 12 weeks time. I will explain to you. It is based on some experiments performed by NASA on how our, uh, how our doing habits change. I hope you also saw all that yesterday's video you have seen. Uh, that also gives a, an idea of uh, changing habits. Then... Um, this really works and it is not just simple class. So full Japa is extraordinary and can change the whole Japa experience. So this is one feedback. Now there is another question that I got and which I have answered in the telegram. It is also connected to this explanation, to this thing. Uh, today so full Japa, okay. I have been hearing the module and read 34th and 35th module on telegram. One striking thing that made a difference in my chanting is what you said. That chanting and hearing, knowing are two different activities. They are, they are not two different activities, but they are one. With this in mind, the chanting is so stressless. See, this is very important. Everybody feels this. When you consider it as two different activity, it does make it a slight difficult task. And hence, you give excuses to chant at a certain time, place, etc., your mind says that other activities as priority and chanting needs to be done when they are all settled. But I had a question. Will this also be like the gardener's newness to chanting? Will this also wean away after some time? Uh, this is a very relevant question. And you should know, uh, you know, uh, the answer to this very well because you are also going to have the same doubt. 
and the, the uh, good news is that you don't have to worry that the first answer you don't have to worry once you train your mind even if it gets uh, newness is gone it will continue to be attentive chanting reason being even though you require training to concurrently do these two things concurrently do and know each bead you need training but training itself is not the final thing what hap what is the consequence of that concurrent doing when there is a concurrent doing and knowing there is a release of pleasant energy from nama prabhu so whether no doubt we are training the background mind to automatically link each but the end result is what they are linked together you are chanting and you are knowing your chant finish once you do that then energy flow is there so let that become that that link, linking become automatic it is meant to become automatic that is why we are trying to train but whenever in the, whether it is due to newness or whether it is due to training when chanting and knowing that very chant happens on the same sound there is this release of transcendental energy which makes it very pleasant to chant and hear each bead so then i have uh, <clears throat> okay so anyway i the uh, the time it takes to completely change the old habit is about 90 days nasa had done some experiment with uh, uh, astronauts because when they go into the space you know the gravity all those they have to condition them they they studied how the mind adopts to the new environment and new situations so what they did was they gave goggles to the astronauts the convex goggles which will make each image upside down and they have to wear it even during sleep continuously they have to wear it so what are what is happening they were seeing the world upside down and naturally the mind has to reinterpret the image in order to see the world as it should be seen so it was continuously doing this mind was engaged in this and 29th day he removed the goggles again you know the habit had not changed you are directly see normal normal world you are seeing but then after 30 days and the goggles were removed you are reversing the whole world outside down the other way around because it has become a habit now what you see you should reverse 180 degrees and later on some more experiments they have done where on a long term habits can be changed if this continues for 90 days now in our case also you see this doing is something how we do our japa our behavior it's a behavior behavioral change what do you do with your knowing attention what do you do with your doing attention every time the knowing attention goes away for thinking to pull it each time and bring it is not the way to do japa it is very strenuous so the solution is first thing is you should not allow your attention you, you should lock your attention on the very sound after allowing it to go to some thinking if you bring it 
again it will go again it will go it becomes very tiring so to lock the attention as a knowing of the very sound is the sure solution for holding the attention many many others have also experienced this and uh, by nama prabhu's mercy today i completed 16 rounds in 2 hours 16 minutes so average it took 8.5 minutes each that means with those uh, reading the scores eight rounds before mangalarti eight rounds after mangalarti now also i feel like continuing my rounds very good experience yesterday also i did the same my question is is there a variation in chanting time how much variation can happen during training time be flexible you know be be flexible and uh, i want to give you the good news that some devotee has already uh, taken those golden quotes uh, from propas lectures and they have made sound file uh, soon i will be posting it in the in the japa module in the telegram module and um, so that uh, you know we can hear prabhupad saying directly and if you can coordinate uh, something like that with your phone where you in, instead of you reading in, you know in fact in my instruction i have written there you should hear shila prabhupada by reading i said okay why if you can uh, hear directly is very good just on that audio audio clip and then hear prabhupad saying chant hear that very chant he is saying that portion alone you take and you hear before you start each round three times you hear so that is also i'll be posting that and it's it's very very inspiring because you just see you are hearing prabhupada's direct instruction and you are repeating that instruction and you are following his instruction how to do japa you cannot go wrong as prabhupada said you see how you will advance prabhupada is challenging how you will advance the so today's questions you take out please one more good news he says i would like to share during dt darshan guru puja kirtan shrimad bhagavatam class my attention is increased multifold even if some thought surfaces on the mind immediately there is a background conscious mind that alert me to neglect the thought so there is no thought processing or thinking accept this so this is this is this is very very true those who do this chanting come hearing you will be surprised that their concentration increases a hundred times because after all 16 rounds they are doing thousands it's nothing it's not a small mental exercise even if you take it as a mental exercise so much concentration if anybody speaks to you then you you are very sharp in hearing so questions today's question okay. while i am attending to chant and hear at the same time i modulated my voice so that my hearing is not distracted to to monotonous chanting is it okay now first of all if you accurately understand this while i am attempting to chant and hear if you chant and hear that very chant please understand that hearing change your definition of hearing as a doing chanting and knowing that sound try to not only hear the classes here you please read those um, modules very clearly you you need to understand what i am trying to say okay next what is the significance of shila prabhupad japa in the background a bit concerned on ignoring the pure devotee voice and only chant and hear the same my own voice please clarify why because you are following prabhupad's instruction 
Prabhupada has given us instruction, what is the meaning of Japa? Japa means you have to hear what you chant. You chant and hear what you chant. That is Prabhupada's instruction. Why you are sentimental? Whatever Prabhupada said you should do. And Prabhupada chanting Hare Krishna is an association. Just like Prabhupada is also doing Japa. We are conditioned to auto-tasking after each mantra. Thus tasking needs conscious knowing or observation. Yeah, you need to feel a sense of build-up of numbers. So, a lot of questions like this will come on tasking. I have, because I have not... Let us simply focus on this now first. And tasking, just like I have explained about this... Um, uh, ch about chanting and knowing the chant. There is a secret that is revealed by Prabhupada in tasking also. The tasking itself will become you know, a wonderful experience. If we have to decide this to quote for six months, first the process is that you chant Hare Krishna and exactly the same sound you hear. Chanting you simply hear when you say Hare Krishna, you try to hear that very sound Hare Krishna, not, nothing more. More than, this is meditation. So what's your question? Okay. How to lock attention on the current chant? That's exactly what we have been talking about. How to lock attention is by linking direction from the background. Either you, because now you don't have that linking direction from the background trained, therefore from outside you keep a printout or just before chanting you load that in your background mind and as per that direction you should, if the background mind is not directing, you cannot lock it. So before that you need to perceive this knowing attention and doing attention through so many examples. I have given so many examples, table tennis, I gave I, I gave example about uh, eating, uh, that's chewing and uh, tasting. I gave example of uh, me talking now, what I am talking I am knowing also. Take so many examples and you observe that this, this has to be together if there is concentration. Tomorrow I will talk about what is this concentration. How much fast is good in chanting? As long as you can hear properly, that's good enough. That's a fast chanting. Not at the cost of not hearing. It really helped us to change our historical behavior by practicing the same as per your direction. Thank you. It, it really works. Then, okay, is all everybody's positive comments. I'm not uh, going into it. Yes. When we think, we do thinking and know the thought. Is this understanding correct? When we think, we do thinking and know the thought. Is this understanding correct? If so, then thinking interrupts both chanting and hearing. Yeah, you are right. Exactly. Thinking is also like, like chanting and hearing are two things. If you are engaged in a thought process, you are doing and knowing. What you are doing? You are reorganizing the thoughts. You are, you are, you are, you are uh, chatting. Actually, thinking is a chat between your mind and your intelligence. So, your intelligence gives different solutions. Your mind checks out. It says yes or no. If it says no, then the intelligence goes back, processes again. Then you give another, okay, why not I do like this? This is a continuous chat is going on, thought processing. So thought processing requires your 100% doing attention and knowing attention. That is the reason if you engage in thinking, you are gone. 
even doing attention will go away and you will do just automatic chanting what is this automatic chanting that is mind this mind and body put together it will just repeat krishna does not want auto chanting krishna wants chanting from your heart you are not the body okay you are giving the body no problem at least it is instead of doing something else it is continuously chanting but if that kind of auto chanting is not what krishna wants krishna wants devotion krishna wants conscious attention ah, even a tape recorder can do auto chanting automatic chanting just like you brush your teeth it's automatic no consciousness is required so krishna does not want that kind of thing automatic he wants you you and your attention during japa not it just wants your body your tongue we are in inside subtle body is automatic some people think that it's great i can you can train yourself continuously your chanting but actually it is offensive the lord is there then you have to if you can do automatic if you can do 24 hours chant in kirtaniya sada hari with attention no problem but you are going on automatically chanting and doing so many things no attention on the nama prabhu it is offensive chanting so you will be very careful about it not a big achievement if you do automatic chanting anything in 6 months you, know, you can do automatic chanting including beading moving the um, sakshi mala everything my first round is always good a natural taste no background thought attention locked but rest of the rounds are always varying attention what is the reason how to correct that uh, please you follow what is being told in between all these things uh, you you yourself will find an answer to all these things just simply follow what is written in the training training module sometimes the moving the bead itself becomes a doing and the mind starts preparing for that doing rather than focus on chanting towards the end how to improve from the, from this now see the thing is ultimately if you see our chanting there are many things which which have to happen automatic your finger you don't have to be conscious about finger moving to the next bead that is not it mean that you want that that's not the meaning of saying that you have to consciously chant or attentively chant there are many things that the mind gets trained so without training of the mind uh, uh, you know in so many things in other words without using the <coughs> trained mind also to help you you cannot do your japa trained mind is also part of it okay is knowing is the same as acknowledging or observing no knowing see observing in a uh, little difference is there it it is like that but it's not exactly that because you are your attention is on the details you want to know no means not plain awareness means no judgment nothing but then when you are seeing hare you are differentiating hare from krishna krishna and rama each word you are differentiating knowing means knowing and recognizing i can say not acknowledging but knowing and recognizing this sound this is hare this is rama this is krishna that is knowing i started practice but it still takes me effort to keep my attention on doing and knowing is the same where did it go no i doing it now started practice but still it makes my efforts to keep my attention on doing and knowing when i start looking dt and chant my attention comes back how i need to go about your question is not clear okay so um, um i'll i have got 
five minutes and I'll play, I will uh, please read module 36 and 37 I have posted it will, it will be good if you read these things and come and ask very specific questions for clarification now I'll give you one example before we leave Every day, I don't want you to crowd you with too many concepts. Even one concept, if you get, that's good enough. Yesterday, I told you this concept about the energy coming from the Nama Avatara is, a, is what actually helps us to change our habit so fast. Otherwise, for, for, a, for, for next day itself to do, just like that, you see that, you saw that how that person who was driving this, that uh, reverse handle, the bicycle in the video he just can't move even five feet ten feet he cannot move but we just start today tomorrow you start concurrent chanting and hearing you're able to do that is because of the nama prabhu's mercy so that was the main takeaway yesterday today i'll give you another example for you to understand the difference between doing effort and knowing effort or doing attention and knowing attention. Both are same. Doing effort releases knowing attention. Doing effort releases doing attention. Knowing effort releases knowing attention. It's a subtle thing that I want to know. I want to do. So that is called chesta. Okay. So let us say there is a nut and a bowl. What do you need to remove a nut and a bowl? You need a spanner. If you want to remove a screw, you need a screwdriver. Right? Can you use a spanner to remove the screw? You cannot. Can you, can you use a screwdriver to remove nut and bolt? You cannot. So, the spanner and screwdriver are like two different tools. Meant for two different things. Similarly, doing effort is meant for a particular thing and knowing effort is meant for something else. Doing effort is for chanting. Knowing effort is for hearing. And if I try to use my, you know, doing effort to hear, what is it? Frustration, isn't it? I take out, I am trying to take a, remove a bolt with a screwdriver. It will never work. It's exactly in the same way. If you think that hearing is a doing, then in your heart you are trying to hear, trying to hear, trying to hear. You don't know what is the definition of hearing, trying to hear. And so much fatigue it brings. It's not. You need to know. It's a knowing attention. So remember these two examples. And suppose now I give you another thing. Another solution, another uh, scenario. Suppose I have fixed two pieces together with a screw and a nut in the other end. It's tightened. Now, if I had to remove, I need both screwdriver on this side and spanner on the other side. Combined, I can loosen it. So, there is a place where both are required. So, in the same way, Japa requires both doing effort and knowing effort simultaneously applied on each sound. And the reason why we get so frustrated and our mind goes off and the attention goes away, keeps going away because we are using the screwdriver to remove a bolt. We are using doing effort to hear. You will never hear. You will never hear by trying to do doing effort, by, by, by trying to do hearing. You cannot do hearing, you have to know hearing because it is a Jnana Indriya. It is very, very, very fundamental to this discovery. Now, focusing on one instruction, somebody tells you, no, no, you should only hear. You, the problem with your chanting is you are not hearing, they will say. The next day you are determined. Continuously you give your effort to hear. It all goes off again. Faint. 
or somebody says no no you should consciously distinctly chant distinctly chant okay full effort distinctly chant you are giving only doing effort again you fail so we should not over emphasize we should understand that it is a linked up activity chanting and knowing that chanting doing effort to chant knowing effort to do so they when done together there is no mental fatigue there is no self control required otherwise continuously self control to bring the attention back attention back becomes such a big drain of mental energy it is supposed to be very pleasing japa not tiring sleepy making you sleepy see what happens when the mind is fatigued no it wants to sleep that means you are you are trying to hear in a wrong way so i have explained this in in the module 37 and 36 you please read that further tomorrow we will again uh, uh, meet uh, i will be talking about what is concentration little more two terms i will be introducing tomorrow uh, which will give a very clear uh, uh, idea of um, more i am trying to go make you understand more and more that mind has got two faculties knowing and doing and and the both together when they work together only it is called concentration tomorrow we will discuss that before that i'll be posting a, another module on concentration okay today itself i'll post thank you very much shila prabhupad ki jai